last video you know I was coming uh, off of well I am coming off of Baltic Fru last night which was a big like party here in Con. Um, so I've just had my second double espresso of the morning I'm just heading now you can see to the ferry we're gonna go to Central Pay today I'm gonna take you along for the ride it is important to generally like book your tickets on the ferry ahead of time because it does sell out um, so because it's the end of the season now it's only running Friday Saturday Sunday Tuesday, Thursday, I think. During the summer, it does run full time. So just something to keep in mind. Um, during the summer, it sells out a lot quicker. My dad and my sister wanted to go and we waited until the last second and it was sold out for like the I think, next couple days. Um, now that it's September, it's a little bit easier now. I booked mine like three days ago and it was fine. So just something to keep in mind. Um, I'm going to show you now where to like how to get there because it is a little confusing You can see there's some signs behind me that are helpful, but there's also a lot of construction happening So it's easy to get lost So I'm gonna give you a little visual of how to get to the ferry And you want to just walk straight back to this building over here um, if you've reserved your tickets they do normally ask that you pay at least 24 hours before your trip for the Sancho pay one you do have to pay in person either with cash or card so I did that the other day when I was here for Il San Marguerite so I've already got my ticket but if you're coming to pay for yours that's where you want to go Okay, so the ferry leaves at 10.15. Um, when I got here, the woman wrote 9.45 on my ticket because she probably realized that like I'm naturally late because I was running to get on the ferry to San Pay at that point, to Il San Marguerite at that point. Um, but I will say there's some in for getting here early. There's already a lot of people, a lot of people with luggage. Um, so if you want like a nice chill time where you're not having to rush around all these panicked people, get here early um so behind me that's where you're gonna go buy your ticket if you haven't already and then i'm assuming all these people down here are waiting for the boat to show up so i'm gonna go hang out over here and i'll see you on the boat We made it to San Tropez. Um, just got off the ferry, which I'm very happy to be off of. I didn't think I was hung over until the ferry was like, it was not a smooth ride today. Let's just put it that way, which is why you didn't see a whole lot of video of us um, on the water because I just honestly, like I couldn't even stand up. It was, I don't get seasick. And to be honest, I was not hung over at all when I got on that boat, but wow. We're here now, so first things first, 
I need a pastry because I think my downfall is having all that espresso and nothing to like soak it up with. So first priority is we're gonna go to this pastry shop that I know from the last time I was here and get a tart tropezian. Uh, it's this really amazing like lemon tart thing. Oh, it's so good. I like, cannot wait. Um, so we're gonna go do that and then I'll show you around for a little bit. And then I think we're gonna just go crash at a beach club for a couple of hours. Uh, we've got, I think four and a half hours until we get back at the boat. So it's not a ton of time, but it's enough time to like get a general idea of Central Park. So here we go. <laughs> If you want to go to like the touristy bit, you kind of want to just go like a couple blocks like forward and to the left. That's going to get you to the marina. So we're going to walk over there now. And when I recognize the place I got the tart trapezian the last time, I will paint that out. And obviously we're going to be stopping to get one. While you're in San Tropez, this is one of the like best walks to go on right along the shore. It's super beautiful. Um, fair warning though, the water does kind of come up on the stones in some places. So just a friendly heads up. I'm seeing a lot of people with sandals that are like struggling. Uh, this is slippery. Thankfully, because I was on the motorcycle earlier, I've got tennis shoes on still. So I left out there. Um, I think probably you're fine in sandals like most people wear sandals in San Jose but like heads up if you want to walk along here like there are definitely like you can maybe see some like slippery wet like portions of stones so just something to be aware of
I got my Tartrapesian. I found it at this really amazing little like bakery um, on a rented right side street. Not the same place I went last year, but I think this looks even more promising. There were a lot of locals there, which is always a good sign. Um, this is the name. It's a bakery. It's been operation since 1830. I'll post the information in the description below for you um, because theoretically it's going to be amazing. But here it is. It's just buttercream and cream and all the good things. Um, so I'm gonna attempt to pick this up and eat it without making a complete mess. Hopefully I don't get it on my like black outfit. And let's see, this is very precarious. Here we go. It's very good, 100% recommend. Um, it was 5 euro 50, which actually is cheaper than the place I went to last year. It was a little bit more expensive and you only got like a half of this like portion. So definitely a good deal. So we have to walk back by the port and then kind of like to the other side there's a couple different like little beach clubs we up at like a random little like beach bar had a little glass of wine i'm just heading back to the boat now we'll get on the boat we'll be back in con by like 5 30 and then i think i'm gonna go meet some friends for dinner so we will see